Uh, I would like to start uh, presenting of my team, Lamise uh, Alexander. <coughs> uh, my name is uh, Harry Barkema, London School of Economics and Rotterdam School of, uh, of Management. Um, our activities are in the context of our so-called uh, innovation uh, lab. Uh, and our innovation lab started six years ago uh, exploring how NGOs, how social enterprises, how companies with social purposes grow and scale successfully over time. Um, and at some point we got bashed by, uh, this came from the management uh, angle, at some point we got, got bashed by especially the anthropologists uh, who said, do you have a clue what sort of impact these organizations are having? Um, and we had to admit, well, maybe not so much, coming from a management uh, background. Um, so then we start to integrate in our research, uh, people on the ground, uh, living in the communities, uh, talking to the rickshaw uh, pullers in a microfinance scheme, um, in healthcare, uh, looking at maternal care, the influence on the women, and so on as well. Um, so we started uh, all these programs um, in various sectors, uh, healthcare, microfinance, uh, and so on. Uh, in a lot of countries, uh, Bangladesh, India, uh, Kenya, and South Africa, uh, and with various organizations, NGOs, companies with social goals, uh, and social enterprises as well. Integrated, looking at how the organizations evolved and scaled over time, uh, but also looking at the impact at the same time in the local communities and what's actually happening then with them. Going beyond the ideology, going beyond the fads, and beyond the fashions uh, in the business to see what's really going on. Um, this brought us to the Kenya uh, program uh, where we look specifically at the context of an uh, incubator uh, who's growing, nurturing uh, entrepreneurs uh, and basically look at the combination how the incubator uh, grew and scaled uh, over time as a function of its leadership, as a function uh, of its networks uh, as a function of learning mechanisms and what helped it to make successful and grow over time. And at the same time, look at the entrepreneurs um, going beyond the myth that all poor are naturally born entrepreneurs. Well, maybe not, right? So let's study essentially what makes these entrepreneurs successful in the context of, uh, of an incubator. Um, looking at things like productivity, what makes them uh, active, what helps them uh, to be successful, what helps them to learn, what helps them to sh change their networks, adapt their networks successfully over time as well. Uh, the knowledge activities, the usual stuff like uh, publications, uh, uh, applied uh, papers. Uh, we also have workshops uh, uh, with various uh, stakeholders. Um, we are including our partners. Our partners include uh, the IHOP uh, in, uh, in Kenya. Uh, it includes the uh, uh, network of Asian uh, social entrepreneurs. Uh, it includes Ashoka uh, in the social entrepreneur space. It includes people from, uh, from policy, uh, for the uptake, uh, uh, the government. Um, so we'll be able to present the results from first our qualitative study uh, and then our quantitative study uh, through these various rounds. Um, uh, we'll also do um, courses. We're working with Strathmore uh, Business School quite a lot with uh, Robert Mudida. Uh, we'll organize uh, jointly entrepreneurship uh, courses with him. Uh, we'll involve uh, our partners uh, like the IHOP uh, to have courses uh, for uh, local entrepreneurs as well. And we have a couple of policy papers uh, for the government uh, as well.